revealed how you were diagnosed with, with bipolar and so on, and now you, you speak publicly about this. Yes. It used to be such a taboo. Well, that's why I had to get out there, because the old thing would talk about it. It was in my family. It was like I, and I just didn't understand it, because it wasn't fair. It just wasn't just, uh, because we were as sick as anybody with a physical illness. And yet we had no comfort or sympathy from others. We had pushed away and, and left on the outside and not given the support. What you need when you have a mental illness, instead of being pushed away and ridiculed and hidden up in the attic, is you need to be pulled close and to be helped brought back into your life, out of the mental illness, get your brain health sorted with the wonderful pharmaceuticals and, and the scientists, neuroscience of the brain is extraordinary now. The new stuff is amazing. We didn't know, we didn't know. And, and now you can you can get back your life. You really can. It's a process and it's hard work. But you can do it. Before you knew what your medical issues were, you, you used to self-medicate. Oh, yes. All, all my life. All my life. And I don't Even know, at 24 seven. I don't know. You try and alter your state yourself. So, of course, if you're someone who has no interest in life because of the chemical imbalance that causes depression, you can't. You have no firing in your brain. You have no spark. You have no interest. You will reach for something at hand to change your mood if you can. Usually it's alcohol or may, uh, not my generation. We love that wacky tobacco. They well, don't. that's what I've got to ask, right? It's because the there's this new plan to, to legalize pot. You used to smoke a, pot, a lot of pot. You said uh, it was it, it is something that did help my brain uh, to get out of such deep depression. Now, what is really, really important, and I'm not here to talk about Justin's uh, 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 policies or what he's going to do in the government, but I will say this. I, we know from science that to smoke pot before 18 is very dangerous to your brain. You won't have but your best life. Uh, you won't accomplish so your best. So you not must smoke pot. You're you must. To be careful. Not, I'm not telling people to what to do. <laughs> anyway, who am I to tell you? <laughs> not my style and not the way. I'm not uh, advocating anything one way or the other. I just want, I certainly am advocating not to criminalize people who have possessed pot. It's like criminalizing, for me, the way I think about, you know, the excessive binge drinking, it's like someone criminalizing you for doing jello shots at 2 in the morning. <laughs> and you've seen me. <laughs> I've seen you. <laughs> so I don't know. It's, it's about a healthy choice as adults. It's not about uh, and making pot available to children. In fact, it should turn it around so that there is really second sober thought about that it's not benign pot for children. It is not. It can be very hard. It's been lovely.